Catherine Constantinides is joining me in studio. This environmental activist is featured in the third season of 21 Icon. She's here to tell us all about it. Hello. Hello. Great to be with you. It's so nice to finally meet you in person. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> now, you're a former Miss Earth. Yes, I am. What does that entail? Well, the Miss Earth South Africa program is really a platform to inspire and empower South African women to become more actively involved in issues around climate change, sustainability, food security, energy efficiency, and looking at how do we ensure that the ordinary South African citizen understands their role and how they have an impact every single day yeah. on a changing climate, our carbon footprint, and how we can live more sustainably. Now, the third season of 21 Icons looks at the future of South Africa. So it's, it must be such an honor for you to be recognized as the future of South Africa. What did you feel like when you got the call to participate? <sighs> really unbelievable it is it's truly an honor to be included amongst iconic legendary south africans who have helped to build this country and to now be one of only 21 um, who are dubbed the future of this country is truly truly an honor it really allows me to appreciate the work because you're so busy doing the work you do every single day you don't do it for the recognition and when something like this comes out it's it's truly um, an opportunity yeah. for me to reflect on a very long, hard and difficult journey, but one I'm truly passionate about. Now you mentioned the work. Tell us about the work you do and when you became so passionate about the environment and, and educating people about the environment. I have to say, I think I was probably born um, passionate and inspired to to make a difference because as far back as I can remember even as a little girl my my love for being in the garden barefoot amongst the soil <laughs> that, those are the best memories I have with my dad with my sister and my mom so community development has really been a part of my life as as part of my life how I grew up it wasn't something we did it was how we how we lived and I think that for me being able to do the kind of work I do is very rewarding when you actually see the on the ground changes you see young minds open in front of you so the work I do specifically here in South Africa and across the continent really is about educating and creating an awareness on an issue that's not glamorous or sexy at all an mm. issue that is never on the agenda mm. so when we talk about food security agriculture farming people don't really care but being able to do the work I do and get people's attention about climate change, about how Africa is being affected by these challenges is truly rewarding. Now tell me about some of the core issues that are affecting South Africa and Africa that maybe we don't think about every day. Well, I think that the two that pop into my mind are really important, and those are around renewable energy as part of our energy mix, especially here in South Africa. Energy, you know, if we don't look at renewable energy as a viable option, it is going to have huge economic implications. And I think that the renewable energy space is developing, but it's taking a lot longer than we expected. And we really need to, as consumers, understand our energy consumption has a negative effect. So what are we doing to, to be more energy efficient at home, at work, and in, in everyday spaces? So I think that's one of the big issues. Mm -hmm. The other is water. We do not understand that we are a water scarce country because we open a tap and we think that water comes out of the tap, but it doesn't come from the tap. And South Africa really does have a very pressurized water system and we have a very sacred water system that we need to start to protect and we need to be more conscious of our water usage, leaking taps. The small things that we can do as everyday active citizens have a huge, huge impact. You know, how many of us go and report a leaking tap or water running in our road? How many of us actually go that extra mile? How many of us even know who our councillors are in order to report these things? So it's the small things that we can do that have a big effect. And these are two of the biggest challenges that we face here in South Africa.